Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'll be reacting to Zoro vs. Urza. Sorry, I could not think of the um I could not think of the other name. I'm so sorry if I got um her name wrong. I was trying to think of um oh what's her name? What's her name? I know it's with the E. I know it's with the E. Oh all that stuff. let's um plus guys oh my gosh. But guys, for any children in the audience right now, for any children um in the audience right now who is like don't know no cuss words or anything, get out of this video. Get out of this video right now. Literally, I'm telling you right now, my aunt Mimos, I told her about my YouTube channel, she asked me, oh, um, is there any cussing? And I said, it's the pending which video I'm reacting to. So right now, if there's any kids, in the honest right now, or no one who ever cussed before, or n don't know any cuss words, get out of the video. Go. Go. Go to another video. Go to a different video. I don't care which one. Any other ones without me cussing. But, um, this is Zora versus... I don't know neither about these two. I only know that they are sword... Swords... Men and women. Um, good. But I don't know too, I don't really know about them. I only know that he's in One Piece, um, Zoro is in One Piece, and, <laughs> I don't know, it's, like, literally up there. But, I don't know, I gotta listen to the analysis first, then decide. But without further ado, let's begin right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm good. And sorry guys, ignore that ad. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm getting that a lot on my phone. I'm literally get, getting that a lot from my phone lately. But I think that's also... I, I'm not even sure myself, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Now. There we go. Present or future kind of fighter has stood the test of time, the swordsman. And today's combatants are two of the most skilled warriors to ever wield a blade. Roronoa Zoro, the feared swordsman of the Straw Hat oh, Pirates, down. and Urza Scarlet, the battle mage of the Fairy Tale Guild. He's wears an arm boomstick. And it's I our job to analyze their weapons, more. armor, and skills to find out who would win okay. a death battle. Fair. Okay. You really need to listen. Rora Noah Zoro dreamed of becoming the greatest swordsman in the world. But he didn't just enroll at a dojo, hmm. he showed up, challenged everyone, and then just sort of stuck around. Zoro's hmm. dojo training sharpened his natural talent with a sword, but there was one person he could never quite manage to beat his sensei's daughter, Kuina. That's they duelled a lot, and Kuina won every single matchup. All 2001 of them. Damn, you think you would have gotten Holy at least crap. one in? Despite Wait, he didn't win them. Not one? Zoro were very close friends. Holy crap. Together, they promised that someday one of them would become the world's best swordsman. And then she fell down some stairs and died. Which she just seems me. like an unacceptable way for a master swordsman to bite the dust. Right? It does thin out the competition for world's best swordsman, though. True. I mean, that's how I became the world's best shotgun woodcarver. <laughs> After Kuina's death, Zoro inherited her sword and used it to hone his skills even further, eventually leaving the dojo in search of the current title holder of world's greatest sword. Wait, Sweeney won? Fuel Mihawk. But he immediately got himself lost. Yeah. With nothing better to do, he became a bounty hunter and wandered around the ocean until he ran into a weird, stretchy pirate kid. Fluffy! Monkey D. Who brought Zoro onto his crew of Straw Hat Pirates? It actually worked out pretty well since Luffy was already looking to hire him. I anyway. did watch a Turns few out, Zoro has quite a of One Piece, but then I just stopped. At this point, he was already a master swordsman, and after finding and training under Mihawk, his swordsmanship became legendary. 
He created his own fighting style, Centauru. Also called three sword style, oh. because he uses three swords. One in his head, and one in his freaking mouth. That I'm sorry, guys. doesn't seem very safe. Dang it. Oh, shit. Okay, back up just to the dead. Just a Tim more. I'm sorry, guys, if you had to listen to it um, again. But I don't know why he's doing that. Trust me. I reset my phone multiple times. Look at the ads. I did not want to re literally delete every single thing off my phone. Because if I do, then I'll try and get everything back up. Again. But I think it's also a virus, maybe. I'm not sure. I'll check if there is a virus on my phone. Because I didn't know he sent my phone. But let's get back into it. Right Style, because he uses three swords. One in each hand, and one in his freaking mouth. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh, shut up, Wiz. Badasses don't care about safety. Never. Regardless, with the three-sword style, Zoro can perform several unique attacks, including the Onigiri, where he strikes with all three blades at once. Or the Tetsumaki, where he makes a tornado He finally pronounces that right. By swinging his swords a certain way, he can fire compressed air projectiles toward an opponent. Like with his deadliest technique, the 1080 pound cannon. And last but not least, he knows the Kutoryu Nine Sword style. Wait, did he just grow four more arms and two more heads? How the hell did he do that? He's it's gone. just an illusion that oh. somehow has physical presence. He's like a human slap chop with a total of nine swords. Right? That's one way to put it. In oh, addition crap. to his skills with a blade, Zoro is able to use Haki, a mysterious power that every living being possesses. Only a select few have learned how to use. Hagi, much like Neapolitan ice cream, comes in three flavors, and Zoro what? only has access to chocolate and vanilla. Chocolate? I... what? I, I don't <laughs> even... Well, one of those flavors <laughs> is observation hockey. That's vanilla! Of yeah. course. I mean, do like vanilla. in some ways is similar to Spider-Man's Spidey Sense. Hmm. Zoro can sense the location of other people, even if they're invisible or far away, and can also predict most opponents' attacks. Then chocolate, everyone's favorite hockey flavor, is armament hockey. This lets him form an invisible armor around himself as protection, really? or harden his swords to make his strikes cut through almost I anything. Feel like I gotta with go with hockey, Zoro, Zoro has been a real asset to the Straw Hat Pirates. They've traveled the world and had a lot of weird adventures. The fuck? Like that time, Zoro fought a literal living mountain man named Pika and sliced him clean in half. A strike so powerful it Holy didn't crap. just cut through Pika, it sent his top half flying upward. Considering Holy Pika's crap. enormous size and approximate mass, the strike your ass. had to have been more powerful than the first ever deployed hydrogen bomb, the 11 megaton Castle Romeo. Get me out of here. Also, Zoro's pretty damn fast. One time he moved so quickly he seemed invisible to a room full of highly trained assassins. Holy crap. And when the odds are against him, he'll keep pushing himself, even past the point of bleeding out. Thus, he's Damn. powered through some incredibly intense pain, such as... Holy smoking Holy shit. guy! How the hell is he still standing after that? That's a good question. After a battle with Kuma, a bear man because this is One Piece, Zoro took on not only his own pain from near death, but also Luffy's, despite being told that doing so would surely kill him. But it just didn't. And he doesn't even brag about it. What a badass. Who's Zoro that? is definitely the stoic badass type, but he can't do everything. He's a sword fighter above all, and prefers to fight up close and personal. He also has the world's shittiest sense of direction. Mm. He gets lost without someone there literally reading the map for him. Stupid. And could never survive on his own without his friends. You might think Zoro would more of a lone wolf type of guy, but right? no. Much like how Kuina's death spurred him on to become a great swordman, it's his friends who keep him fighting. I said there's only one reason to I'm beat you. I'm going Zoro. Zoro. And what is your goal? Wait. To beat you. I'm going Zoro. Urza Scarlet grew up in a small Again. rural town called Okay, Rose okay, let me Village. hear about her it then on the side. It was pretty as far as childhoods go. Hold on, Wiz, I'm getting a premonition. Despite everything Dang. seeming perfect, 
Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I feel like Zora would win. But I'll listen to her side and see what happens. No. I grew up in a small rural town called Rosemary Village. It was pretty picturesque as far as childhoods go. Hold on, Wiz. I'm getting a premonition. Despite everything seeming perfect, something, something terrible happens. A murderous cult attack there it is. destroyed the city and enslaved the children of the tower to resurrect their evil overlord. There it is. There it Young is. Young was tortured, and while she may have lost an eye in the process, she also gave Wait, how did she get? How did she Hernandez. get back her eye? He actually gave her her last name, Scarlet, after her. Really? Red how did she get back her eye? She and her buddies swore they'd escape, so really, like, hers ended up staying in the revolt and or... the other slaves thanks to hey, discovery of her I'm not, I'm not magical powers. Unfortunately, not everyone made it out. Turns out Jalal got possessed by some spirit that made him a huge dick, and she had to go without him. Aww. Fine, if you want to leave, then I'm not going to stop you, but you'll have to go. I am still in this room. Okay, guys, I think I had to. Yeah, after this video, I'm looking to see if there's a vir virus on my phone, because I'm not dealing with this no more. Fine, if you want to leave so badly, then I'm not Discovering her latent magical powers. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry, not guys, if I just keep on doing this. There's the only way for me to have to see what happens. She had to go Especially it. if the animation kicks in. If you want to leave so badly, then I'm not going to stop you. But you'll have to go alone. After that nightmare, Urza swore to dedicate her life wow, to helping and protecting the innocent. And so joined the fairy tale so magician's <laughs> guild. Luckily for them, she possessed a great skill set for a mage. Her main thing is requip magic, which is basically like having an armory with you at all times, without really? having to lug it around. Requip magic allows Urza to summon her vast array of weapons and armor at will, meaning she can use multiple combinations of swords, lances, and vast array of weapons and armor at will, meaning she can use multiple. <sighs> This. Multiple combinations of swords, lance. She's rumored to have access to as. Nice! As far as armor goes, her go to is the standard heart cruise set. Guys, the figure don't go. Back up. Will, meaning she can use multiple combinations yeah. of swords, lances, and outfits all in fight without ever really slowing down. Damn, that'd be useful. Okay. For all my weapons, honey, she packing. She's rumored to have access to as many as a hundred sets of armor and two hundred weapons. Nice. As far as armor goes, her go-to yeah. is the standard heart cruise set. But there's also the Heaven's Wheel armor, where she can send swords flying at people. The spiky defensive adamantine armor and the black wing and flame empress armors, which have wings for. Flying! Don't giant armor, for. which she uses with a lance. Purgatory armor, which has a lot of spikes. And, uh, seduction armor? I'm not really sure what purpose this serves. It's Probably to make video. enemies terribly aroused. Gavis Never video tried to fight with an erection whiz? <laughs> Believe me, it's not easy. Right. Well, Urza claims her most powerful armor is the Armadura Fairy Armor, which is very... Oh, but sometimes she doesn't research? even bother suiting up if her back's against the wall. If this video do not go how I want it to go. Oh, but sometimes she doesn't even remember. bother suiting up if her back's against the wall. Urza equips her clear heart clothing. Oh this my enhances her God. <sighs> I am so sorry, guys, I get to see this. Oh, my God. I, after this, I'm making sure there's no virus on my phone because I'm not dealing with this crap. <sighs> right there. No. Clothing. This enhances her speed and attack over defense and huh. channels all her magical energy into her katanas for a decisive blow. She can charge magic through her, her sword, all sorts of magical attacks. Even mixing and matching weapons and armors to better her chances in a fight. Yeah. She's also just really good at sword fighting. 
Actually, she's really good with a lot of weapons, including hand-to-hand. -hand. All of this makes Urza an wow. addition to the Fairy <laughs> Guild. She quickly became one of its highest-ranking mages and is the youngest member to ever pass the S-Class Mage Promotion Test. In an <laughs> gauntlet, only the strongest and wisest of warriors can even attempt. Speaking of achievements, she's pretty friggin' strong. Don't believe me? Well, here she is, lancing a hole through a giant cube. This cube was about 100 million cubic miles in volume. Punched through it, Urza's lance must have dealt about 16 kilotons of force. Mm -hmm. Urza is fast enough to deflect bullets point blank from a flintlock pistol. Guns with a muscle velocity of about 540 miles per hour. And that's without a speed boost from her armor. Right, many of her armor sets grant her stat boosts, increasing her speed, magic, defense, etc. Many of destructive blasts, including one that blew up an island. Considering that island's size, that's an explosion equivalent to kilotons of TNT. I'm going to so she's sexy, can survive island-busting attacks, and has a shift of weapons. She's basically perfect. Just Dibs for a boomstick. She may have a vast armory, but swapping them in and out requires magic, and she can run or slide down if she's not careful. Is this video? If this ever do it again, I swear to God. I it, but I can't because this is the only. Mm. Basically perfect. Just wish she used a gun or two. Well, she may <laughs> have a vast armory, but swapping them in and out requires magic, and she can run her supply down if she's not careful. So it's just mm. like a mana bar in those fantasy games you always play. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> though even <laughs> when. Dang. Magic, she's still quite deadly in hand to hand. Like when she fought her alternate self for another parallel universe. That universe has a lot less clothing. Find me up! But when you're Come among man. the best in the guild, you get the job done no matter the limits. I will withstand any physical pain to protect the ones that I love. Oh, mental pain. After this ad, I'm pausing this video talking about. And even the ads are doing this, which is literally annoying the crap out of me. But right now, who? who um, God, I'm going Zoro because mil millimeter? No, not millimeters. Kilometer? No. God, it just like it, it just the durability. I, so like Zoro is more of the durable type, but oh my god! But uh, what's her name? What's her name? God, Urza, Urza, what's Urza? Urza with the Lancy, with her is literally equipment wise, equipment wise, and a little bit of brain. But, I mean, oh, maybe some people will go further because of, like, reasons. But, hey, just because a person like that does not mean they can automatically win. Plus, to be honest, it's said like, oh, what you call it? Ugh, I don't know how to put this. It said... Zoro sounds more faster, durable, fast, uh, stronger, durable, faster, more specific, much, much, and I mean much more useful with, uh, with fighting swords. I mean, well, using swords. But Urza do have some options, like for example, Lan um, Lance, I'm trying to think of some, sword to hand. Which I literally don't know what else she carries. But I'm going to Zara because stronger, faster, more durable, much, much fit efficient with his sword. Got more off his her. And literally physically stronger. So yeah. Let's start it again now. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. No sponsor. It's time for a death battle!
Oh, I can actually lady. see this happening. Can you point me in the way of the shipyard? I've been looking around for hours. I can actually see that. If they ever do do a crossover, I actually see that. You're the one who's looking. But step without the killing. Hopefully, and you won't be harmed. Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe later. Then we'll have to do this the hard way. I told you I'm busy. Huh? Fuck. Well, I guess we're doing this now. Yeah. Fight time. Whoa! What? You're coming with me! Nah. Too hard. Neat trick. Who's Urza? Lazar. Just like you are strong. Aww. I think that's here. Is worse than the loss of life. Uh, don't start crying, woman. What? So much for all that true strength bullshit, huh? Yeah, he's I alive. Can do this. You sure? I will play this bounty for my kill. You sure? For my strength. You for sure? My friends. You still sure? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, double O. What the hell is that shipyard? Hey -oh! Jesus! Talk about a killer blow! In the past, Urza could react to projectiles flying over 500 miles per hour. Dang. But Zoro could move faster than the eye could see. U.S. Air Force tests have shown that a well-trained human eye can consistently spot and recognize an image in one 220th second. Yeah. So, in this case, Zoro would have had to move from point A to point B, which is the mountain feet, in 4.5 milliseconds. That's close to 9,000 miles per hour. That's more than five times faster than a bullet. Urza didn't Dang. really rely on speed anyway, and there's no evidence any of her armor magic could have helped close that wide of a gap. Speaking of her armor, Urza did have more options in defense and weaponry. Unfortunately uh, for he her, she's can get right. outclassed and damage dealt. Urza could withstand hits of about two kilotons, like the blast which destroyed that island. But Zoro has dished out much stronger blows than that. Slicing Pika in half, for example, was equivalent to 11.5 megatons. Megatons, That's sorry. About 6, I couldn't think of the name. Bigger than anything I couldn't five. think of um, and how Urza's um, artificial eye may what have was seen through Zoro's nine sword style illusion. It couldn't prevent him from actually attacking her. She also had that habit of stripping into clear heart clothing in a bind. Yeah, it gave her more sword power, but at the cost of less. It sounded like a good idea on paper, but close range combat was Zoro's. Bread and butter. Yeah, and while proficient with a blade, Zoro has trained with swords all his life. Even with the greatest swordsman in the world, an up close duel was exactly what he was looking for. Yeah. Yes, she won't be getting a fairy tale ending. Ta -ta. The winner is Roranoa Zoro. Who is next? I'm on death battle. No, no one can break death battle. Except for one man. <laughs> I love the Deadpool. Oh, he can be freaking annoying. Deadpool is back. Oh god. And we're just a little different this time. We're going to be announcing his opponent on the Death Battle cast. Oh my god. Heard, no. A podcast around Death Battle where we hang out, talk fights, and goof around. Deadpool. Mm-hmm. <sighs>
Deadpool, but it can be very annoying. Plus, I've already seen Deadpool, I believe, three or four times on the anime channel, which, not happy. I'm not happy. Which is the only time that you literally did get wait, 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 wait. I think it was two times. I actually did see some rumors, um, some actual clips. And apparently his opponent is, P um, Pinkie Pie. About to say Pinkie Pie, but it's Pinkie Pie. Which I barely know. All I know is she's a freaking annoying who breaks the fourth wall. Oh my god, freaking my life. I guess it, I don't know, but I don't know. <laughs> What is it? What's it? No. Wednesday, I believe. I don't, I don't know Wednesday of who is his uh, actual opponent. You know, I don't think it is actually Pinkie Pie. Yeah, yeah, they both can't break the fourth wall, but. Really? Pinkie Pie. They could have done Sans on this. Channel. Pop, no. Not Popeye. Not Popeye because knowing him, he will literally threaten the animators. And sorry, guys, for keeping repeating in the video multiple times. Because I don't know why. Like, I didn't really need to figure that out. But, uh, please punish that like button. Computer, tablet, wherever you used to watch this video, punch that screen down below. What do you want me to react to? And I'll try my best to react to it. Subscribe to my channel. I will link the original video down in the description below. In the comments below, tell me who is Deadpool's other opponent in Death. It better not. Oh, wait, he already fight Deathstroke, so he's good. One brother down. But, please subscribe to my channel, punch that like button, comment down below, two things you have to comment down below. What do you want me to react to, and who is Deadpool's next opponent in Death Battle? Good night everybody, peace out.